Shit. Hey guys, it's me, and uh, I'm sitting on my front porch, just hanging out, having a nice tall jar of bourbon and Coca-Cola, Lemmy's favorite drink, on ice. You're wondering why I'm drinking it out of a Tostitos jar. I had Tostitos last night, and I always wash out my recyclables, actually glass jars I keep with the lids because one day, when the apocalypse happens, they'll make good score. <laughs> Take two. Good storage containers. Good storage containers. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm not drinking a jar of salsa. It is bourbon and Coke. And I gotta tell you, it's freaking excellent. So I want you to all go get yourself a nice tall adult beverage or whatever. I'm not pushing it. I know there's a lot of sober people watch me too. I used to be one of them. But, I just got a special present. Now, everybody asked me, you know, they said, they said, Rob, I took this to my last gig. And everybody was asking me, they say, that's nice, but why, why do you just carry it in and out of the car? And I, I said, simple answers. I can't, I couldn't find a case for this. Um, I, was, I was looking at an Epiphone Explorer base case, and I was going to buy one just on the chance that it might fit in the Epiphones I know feel a lot smaller than this. This is this is now uh, been renamed by the way the um, X Offender base meaning it's Explorer and Fender type um, and this would be the X Offender P J J G base which means it's got a precision and a jazz pickup and it, this was, of course, like I said, my John Gallagher tribute bass. So this is an X offender And trust me, there's going to be a few more that are going to get built in the next few months here on Uncle Robbie's Science Corner. So you just, you just stay tuned for that. But anyway, everybody says, why don't you have a case? Well, I, I did a search the other day. And I got to tell you, this got here really quickly. I ordered this on, I, I believe it was Sunday night. And today, or no, I ordered this on Monday morning very early monday morning like probably you know 1 a.m on monday so sunday night and it got here today today is um today is wednesday so this got here in, in a couple of days the shipping these guys are just fantastic it comes from a place called uh music warehouse okay in clifton new jersey so i found it on ebay and um, I found it on Amazon for the same price, I think from the same seller. But it was the only one I could find on the internet. And it's basically, okay, an Explorer gig bag. A gig bag for an Explorer base. Now, let's check it out. I don't even know who makes it. Wow, this, thing is, this thing's got pretty heavy duty padding. I got the 30 millimeter one. I don't know if that means anything. 30 millimeter is about, well, nine millimeters, about 36 caliber. So it's about a little over a third of an inch. So, so this is this is about an inch and a, and a quarter, I guess. I guess they're talking about the padding or whatever. This is, wow, this is really nice. It's a well padded case. It's made by Premium Gig Bag. Premium Gig Bag, that's all it says. Okay, that's all it says on the tag. It's premium gig bag, and it says Explorer Base Bag, if you can see right there. Um, I got to tell you, this cost me $79.99, so 80 bucks for this, free shipping. And uh, it's, got, it's got a semi-decent lining. Okay, look at that. It's got a nice, nice padded handle, and this thing doesn't look like it's going to rip anytime soon. Um, the zipper seems pretty quality. Let's see. 
Well, it works. Let's see if this side works. Oh. Yeah, that one works too. Ooh, don't knock my guitar. But um, you know, I've been I've been dragging around my eight-string explorer bass for oh, almost 20 years since I made it, and um, really. It's the White Explorer of, if you've seen my intro, there's a picture of me playing an eight-string Explorer. And it's white, you know. Um, I made that about 15 years ago, and what, more than that. It was probably 2000, 2002 or 2003, so it's almost 20 years. Almost, yeah, 20 years. Whatever. Um, cause I, and I had that body for a long time. Anyway, I digress. I'm talking too much. So I've never had... Okay, here it says, handmade with pride in India. So this is made in India. And I gotta tell you, so far this doesn't feel like any junk, you know? It's got a couple of nice pockets. Nice, this is nice big pocket. It's got a small one here, I guess you could stick in a couple of extra sets of strings in, which is great. Got this big pocket here that you could, I don't know, put a notebook in if you had to, like if you carry sheet music around, <laughs> you know? And this, little pocket this would be great here for I don't know just sticking in your cord you know some picks I don't know fifth couple of couple of small ass pocket sized bottles of you know bourbon you know carry with you to a gig it does billow out so it comes out to about that big so these pockets are pretty substantial all right and um it's got the padded shoulder straps which don't feel like crap these actually feel like it's got plastic buckles on them, which I'm not crazy about plastic buckles because I've had buckles like these break in the past. Um, does have a, a metal D-ring here. I'm sure there's some kind of shoulder strap included. Let's see if there is. Maybe, maybe not. Like, you know, like a sling to throw around your neck, you know. But, um, I don't know. I'm, 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 not, I'm not hoping for too much, but it does have the... The D-ring here, I guess you could use that to hang it up in a closet. Well, that's probably a good idea. I'm going to have to go out and bend me some metal hooks so I can hang all my gig bags up in, in my closet. I'll put a rod up. So anyway, here's the test, guys. Does the base fit? So we're going to try it right now with my Explorer base. Does this fit? Okay. All right, guys. And let's zip it. Give it a zip. Mind you, I left the tremolo arm on it, and wow, there you go. This thing fits. I gotta say, for $79.95, see, it gives you plenty of room for an Explorer base, and um, I have to say, this is one of the purchases that I'm most happy making, because at least I know I can, for the, the future uh, Explorer bases I'm gonna be building, I'm going up to see uh, Mike at Toro Guitar Works, and uh, we're going to do some really interesting stuff up there, Explorer-style bases um, with, you know, precision necks. So that's why I call them X-Offenders, you know, they're Explorers and Fenders. And, you know, I'm sure everybody that, that I know is some type of X-Offender in one way or the other. I know I am, but... So that's the review, the unboxing and the review, I got to say. Would, would I buy it again? Yes, I'm going to go online right now and buy another one, maybe two, because these things, I, I, I do advise to take the tremolo arm off the base, although not necessary. It probably will make it a little bit more compact, you know, carrying it on and off an express bus in Staten Island going to do a show in Manhattan. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, remember, keep on rocking in the free world.